Yes, it is Sports Radio 88 for now. Brilliant for real. It's a freaky fabulous Friday morning. Oh yes, somebody has been somebody has been touched, and he just had to, you know. Man, what's Are you in the spirit right here, right now? Yes, I, oh, my body is shaking. Your body is shaking. Yeah. What kind of fever is that one? Spiritual fever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, if I have days, a man wastes a be right here in the building. Yes, help me welcome Becky Larry Zamajay. I, I know you're one of those who feel those songs when you hook them up in the morning, yeah. and then of course, well, Becky's here live in the studio. Yeah, Becky, ah, good to have you on board. Thank you. Ah, good you, to meet you. You too, yeah. you too, you too. I, I'm a, I don't become your big fan already. <laughs> so, you know what you do? You know, you're going to give me an autograph. Yeah? Ah. Big one, massive one, not be small autograph. We'll exchange autographs there. Oh, no, we'll oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, this is what happens. Since I'm the man in the middle right here, I'm going to be the facilitator. You understand? I'll, I'll, you give me your autograph, I'll collect Debbie's, uh, Becky's autograph, and then. Uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, and again, yeah, if you never exchange. get manager, I did, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry to bust your bubble. Well, she, eh? she has well, a manager. Oh, well. <laughs> she has a manager. She has a manager. Don't chop my space. No <laughs> wala, no wala. Okay, of course, you know, like I said, live on the Facebook fan page, and yes, questions have been coming in, some funny, some ridiculous, <laughs> you know, like a lot of people are saying, oh, someone's asking uh, if you are, okay, you know, I already asked you that question, yes, I'm going to relay that, yes, Calvin Michael, yes, uh, as the name, uh -huh. you know, connect the dots, you know what I'm saying, but then a lot of people will want to know, you know, because when you, when you have uh, someone who is so passionate, you know, and, and th there's no way I'm not going to talk about it. I mean, having somebody as big in stature, such a huge personality as Double Doctor, as Kochi, like we call him. Now, you want to ask, what are the influences that you've gotten from there? And then, of course, taking such a path that is so, well, would I say divergent? Because it, it involves passion, but your passion is channeled towards another direction. Have you been able to tap into that? What have you learned from him? That's such a huge question. Mm. Asking me what I've learned from Dr. Larry Zawadji, my yeah. dad. Yeah. What have I learned? I've learned a whole lot. I could write a book. Mm. I wake up in the morning and I look at him. I look at his drive. I look at his zeal. I look at his enthusiasm. I look at how he is so into everything that he's doing mm. and how he's so... He's, my dad has a, he has a futuristic approach. He's thinking long term, he's thinking impact, he's thinking generations. Mm. And for me, that's the motive, that's the drive, you know. He says, he always says something, it's not about what you live for your children, it's about what you live in your children. Mm. And with, with his character, with how I see how he treats other people, with how he treats us, his children, with everything that I've learned, him just sitting over a table, sitting over food, you know, having a, a glass of water and we're just talking about education talking about you know business or politics and i'm just seeing his mind you mm. know for me that has been a push and i think he has also made me realize that you don't let you you're an individual so don't wrap yourself around the concept of oh this is who my dad is or this is what mm. my father has accomplished because you are becky larry zamuji you have a life you have it you have your passions you have your drive there's a purpose for you as an individual mm. so he has really made us realize that Hustle your own hustle, hustle, work your own work, like <laughs> have your own drive, read. He always says something like, it's not my name, that's on your certificate. So mm. even when I was in school doing my master's, I would always remember, I'm studying, but I'm not studying to hand this, this is not my daddy's certificate, this is mine. You know, so he has always made us individuals, so you're an individual, mm. regardless of wherever you've been, the background or whatever, you know, status, you know, mm. I may have. This is who you are. And I think for our generation, for young people, it's something that we can also learn from, you know, you mean your past does not define you or your background does not define you you have a path to tread mm. and on your own you can be something regardless of your background now talking know. about your past talking about being your own person when did you decide when did you realize that this is it this is music for you this is this is this is the road or one of the roads that you want to take because you're just starting off and you still have so much ahead of you so much so, so much to do mm -hmm. when you decide that okay this is something that i want to do and i want to channel a lot of energy into doing it and then there's so many that, that question has so many folds mm -hmm. now you decide to do gospel mm -hmm. a lot of people do gospel mm -hmm. in so many ways the mm -hmm. particular mode that you're doing it choosing to focus solely on edification of the almighty mm -hmm. why I think I'll start from when I was back in university in 2015. I started a YouTube channel and this was literally just 
I just really felt a prompting. I felt like God was telling me, you know, just start this thing. Like, just speak to people. It was very regular. It was just mm -hmm. me coming back from my lectures and I'm talking about, oh, this is what happened today. And I always loved singing. So from a very young age, you know, I'm that girl that would be in church and take the microphone and always doing good morning, mommies and daddies. I thought like, you were going to start up been... in the bathroom, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those ones too. They have some private, you know, just you have those ones where you're singing to an audience in your head. In your head. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, so with my YouTube channel, it was more like, I felt like that was my first call of being kind of public outside my family knowing that oh, Becky has a passion for this outside of you know secondary school and you know every other person knowing for me this was a step more public mm. but then when my youtube channel started I th then this song started coming and for me it was from both from prayer both from circumstances I would see around me mm. you know and people's lives experiences and I would literally just record these songs on my phone okay. and then last year when I was done with my undergraduate degree and then I felt like I just wanted to thank God, you know, for everything that happened and I'm like, I'm going to do this song, you know, I feel mm. like people are telling me it's time to put this one out there. And I did it and I'm like, you know, I shared it with my family and everybody's like, What? Like this is there's something here, there's something here. And for me that was a very that was a big push. Mm. But at the same time I was being very careful because I you have to enter things for the right reasons and you have to know why you're doing what you're doing and I knew my motive for doing this so mm -hmm. even now I try not to put myself in a box you know I had that moment where I was you know am I really a gospel <laughs> artist am I or just am I, you know what I mean or just tap it into that exactly uh -huh. am I just going to just put out music you know but obviously you can't run away from that you know and we, we like titles as a country and I'm like you know that's fine if this is going to be the tag that will make this music go out there more mm -hmm. then that's fine I would I would I would wear that hat but I've also tried to not limit myself by just that because I see myself wearing multiple hats. I see I'm a very busy bee. And, and, and that's what I'm going to ask, yeah, you know, because I've been yeah. asking, this is one path you've exactly. chosen to tread. But exactly. how far are you taking it? Can you call yourself a professional musician right now? Or you're just doing something that you love, one of many things that you love. How, what, what tag, what label do you want to put on it, if you want to put a label? I don't think I can put one label on this, mm -hmm. but I would definitely say... I'm doing something that I love. I'm doing something that is definitely bringing impact. I will continue to bring impact long after I'm done. And also, on another level, who knows? Like, we never know what the future holds. So I'm very open. I'm very open to, I know that this is something that I have. This is a genuine gift that I know, you know, it's not just for me. You know, there's songs I'm, I'm singing and I'm like, I know that Becky, I, I know, I know that this is not just meant to come out of my own mouth. I know that it's for the world. You know, so I'm, I'm trying not to put a tag or put myself in a box, mm. but at the same time, I'm just, I'm just really, I'm just really, I'm just really moving. Let's see where this goes. Let's see how far, you know, where this gets to, but not limiting myself in any way. If I feel like to put out a song, I'll put out a song. If I don't feel like I'm not under any form of pressure to, you know what I mean? So it's both passion, inspiration, maybe, 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 maybe. professional, you know, okay. maybe, but we'll, we'll just really we'll see how, see how that goes. Exactly. All right. Uh, the, uh, talking about putting out a song, there's a brand new song. It's out now. We're going to hook you up with it. In fact, you must have heard it because we've been playing it. It's been all over. And uh, we're going to have a taste of it, but not just yet, because hits are coming in. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm holding her to myself right now. I'm going to unleash you guys on her very, very soon. But I'm still keeping you at bay. Olao uh, Yibolariwa on the Facebook fan base says, Becky, so good to see your face. I admire everything about you. Very, very intelligent person. Well, you are. God will continue to be with you. Uh, kudos to uh, Baba Larry. And the Kodolu family says, nice one from Becky. Uh, I admire you so much. You inspire me. Uwaru uh, Kelechi Victor says, she's really, really looking good. I love her music. God keep her strong. Amen. Adiola Bankoli says, whoa, photocopy ko easy at all. It's so great to know that you are a product of a great man who's impacted generations. I love your music. And then he put hashtag Bravo in capital letters. And Kristen Uzubokwe, I hope I didn't murder that, says, Becky, give it up. Keep it up, he says. And then Prince Kelvin is giving you a thumbs up. All right, I'll come back to that. So, so many, so many hits coming up right here. Now, I want to ask, you're a millennial. For a lot of people, old guys like me, you know, mm -hmm. they, they, they wonder what exactly does it mean to be a millennial? And then... How many types of millennials are there? What really is the focus? And then who are you targeting? Who do you want to impact? Who uh, is your music for? That energy that you're putting out, that passion that you're putting on, who are you directing it to and what do you want to achieve? 
you know, I think the millennial group is um, from the 80s, so from 1980 onwards, you know, so let's say young people, youth, basically. Mm. Um, I'm not really putting my music in a box, like I said prior. So it, I think it transcends just, age. Yes, it transcends age. Mm. You know, over the course of the last, because a number of you came out late last year, late 2017, and over the course of those these months till date, I've gotten messages and emails from fathers, mothers, children, you know, it's, and, and I think that's the beauty of music. Music mm. is not for just a selected few and gospel music too is literally not for just a selected few. There's, there's passion here, there's truth here, there's love here more than mm -hmm. anything, you know. Yeah. So it's not just for a certain age group. Mm -hmm. And so with my target audience as well, like, I think I'm just, I'm doing this for the world. Like we're on a, we're on a global level here, we're on a very <laughs> big scale here. So I'm literally doing this for the okay, it, it gets you wondering, you want to put her in a box or she's not a Chelsea fan, she's not a Man U <laughs> fan. I you knew know. they were going to get there. Yes, but, <laughs> but she, she loves the Super Eagles. You know, uh -huh. but you know, when they call them back, I'm sure they're gonna. They, they always want somebody to identify. Yeah. Uh -huh. So get ready for for the woos. They're gonna want to woo you to come to one particular club site or well. the other. Phone lines are be lighting up zero seven double zero double zero double zero eight eight nine. That's the number to dial. Ugo Eluche says, "I am your number one fan." That's my sister. I wrote that in capital letters. <laughs> I love you That's always. My That's okay. My Keep being an inspiration to our generation. You are special. Yeah. And Kristen says, are you, are you remind me of how inspirational uh, Kochi used to be. That's Big Larry. And I was deeply in love with his program during the 90s up till now. All right. Benedict Wanchuku says, big ups. And the Kuru family says, Becky, can you give us your Twitter handle? I love the gospel music. So inspirational. Please keep it up. I'm talking about music. You know, it comes in so many forms, so many genres. You understand? Now, what you do is mind-blowing. It's mellow, it's subtle, it speaks to your soul. You know, do you have something for those who like a little bit of bang bang zing zing, like we call it, you know? Because remember, off the mic, I was telling you, should I bring in the electric guitar? Let's have a jam <laughs> session right here. Do you have plans to infuse other forms? I think it's going to come yeah. as a surprise. You'll just hear ah, one fast and say, eh, okay. is that Becky? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I think I'm more of a, with fast songs, I think. This is me being very general, okay. but you may get a bit distracted and you may go into the beat, you may mm. go into... But I've heard a lot of fast songs. I, I follow a lot of amazing people who have brought out fast songs and yet with an edifying message, message you yes. know. 